every game has some unwritten rules and Fortnite is no exception. Today, I thought it would be fun to go over what I and a big part of the competitive community consider some of them. The first and arguably one of the most important unwritten rules in Fortnite is instantly dropping mats when you get knocked in endgame and then communicating how many mats your duo has and marking zones when you go down in moving. Unfortunately, this rule is so unwritten that someone should honestly just make it a written one. A lot of young competitive talents start raging when they die mid moving instead of giving their duo a valuable communication. Communication. The game is not over just because you are knocked. Get to work and make the most out of the situation. When you're in a 2v1 fight, an unwritten rule is to do damage to one of the opponents and then jump in on the other teammate. This is one of the hidden rules of competitive, as if you tunnel vision the player you tag low, his duo will easily be able to eliminate you. If you tag one of the two players for over 100 damage, chances are high that he will take a step back and heal, giving you a few seconds to eliminate his teammate. This is one of the oldest strategies to win more of 1v2s and it is for a lot of mid to high level competitors and unwritten rule. Hyping your teammates up is something the entire community has gotten better and better at over the past few years. And if your boy is left in a clutch, your job is not only to mark zones and communicate mats, but you also gotta hype him up when he does something good, giving him that little confidence boost that we all know makes you play better. It's also crucial to keep the vibes high, even if he does worse than he should have, because as we all know, if the atmosphere in the duo becomes a negative, the tournament a token ranked whatever you're playing it's gonna end badly Moving on, we of course have to talk about when you get knocked in a fight in a duo tournament. It is important to try and find the middle of a box and crawl into it so your duo can easily cone you and save you from getting eliminated. It's also a rule not to scream, you can rest, you can rest if you're not sure about it. Let your duo play and focus up and the chance of him succeeding is way higher compared to if he has an annoying voice in his ear screaming at him. I think everyone agrees that if we're talking about unwritten rules, one of the first things that comes to mind is leaving farmable materials at 50 hp now obviously this has been around pretty much ever since the game came out but for good reason not only can you hide behind cover while scattering awareness for your rotates but you'll also be way harder to hit for opponents looking in your direction additionally the extra 50 hp on a tree or a brick is not gonna do much for your materials anyways and you'll easily be able to get cap mats although you don't fully break your farmables some people say that you should just be a man and break trees and bricks but for a lot of us we've played with this unwritten rule as long as we can remember and breaking the habit of keeping these items on 50 hp is nothing less than near impossible for a lot of us for this next unwritten rule i need you all to close your eyes and imagine yourself playing a random one ones on raiders map and then think when you're picking up guns the guy you're playing against starts shooting at you and you instantly think what is this guy doing and we all know the next thought you need to eliminate him you cannot get eliminated when someone tries to play criminally against you in public one we ones I don't care if you have to use some metal and start popping minis for their life, but that feeling of someone shooting at you and maybe tagging you up for 150 and then eliminating that criminal player is beautiful and very much an unwritten rule of Fortnite competitive. Then you are of course obligated to start dancing until he shoots at you again and you lock in and you eliminate him again. If there's only one rule you'll remember from this video, please let it be this one. Because trust me, this one is important. This next unwritten rule is using code Marin TM in the Fortnite item shop. Now, but in all seriousness, if we can get to 1,000 users on a code, I'll start doing face cam tournament videos as well as an additional video a week. Thank you to everyone who has already chosen to support me. It means more than you think. Being aware of when moving zones pull and being able to rotate quickly when you have mats is another unwritten rule of competitive. Rotating the second a new moving zone pops is more or less always the right play if you have the needed materials. Obviously, if your mats are looking bad, then doing this might not be the right play. But playing a consistent and secure playstyle often means being on top of rotations in endgame and always being aware of the new moving zones as soon as they pull. That's all I have for you today. Just a fun little video before I start making videos on this new season and the competitive side of it thank you all for tuning in today i appreciate you so much and i'll talk to you very very soon